Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and, and let me get started by, um, intro on this music here. Oh, and, uh, there is going to be a fair amount of moving parts on this one, so, yeah, and I'm already having a, I'm having to get rid of a couple windows here. Okay. So, but anyway, um, this one's going to be Sleeping and Dreaming, um, uh, more, uh, Dark Ambient from, uh, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. And I believe this came out either today or yesterday. And he, and he started adding. He started adding this now, which is completely unnecessary. And because this is going to be a pretty, I think this is going to be some pretty quiet music. Just going to jack it up to a hundred. Excuse me. But otherwise, um, really, really bad day today. It just must have been, seemed like a pretty rough week at work. Um, was having trouble sleeping because my, uh, because my lower back. Um, it was especially bad, like, uh, part way through my, uh, Part way through my stream, um, I had a I had to break off and take like a one hour nap. But the problem is, is uh, my uh, lower back was it was it was making getting into a comfortable pos comfortable position really hard. Even what even with me popping ibuprofen, it wasn't really helping that much. So so yeah, I uh, I think I had already taken three. Three that I know might have been a fourth one. I can't remember, but, but yeah. Anyway, um, but just uh, during my stream, just uh, it was all gems of war. And um, this weekend they have a they've got a Noma Palooza weekend now. Um, those that have seen my those that have checked out my other cast will pretty much know how this works. You just uh. More gnomes are going to start appearing in these battles, in which uh, which drop more stuff. Sometimes you'll find uh, musicians. You kill those musicians, and they'll drop uh, they'll drop sheet music, uh, four different types. If you can get all four types of sheet music, you'll uh, you can craft what's called a gnome palooza, where for the next 15 minutes, all that's going to appear are gnomes. But it, like, um, normally, normally I'd want to spend a good chunk of the night just, uh, farming these. But again, I, I was in such a crappy mood. I wasn't really in, you know, didn't really feel like doing much of anything. Um, I mean, I, I tried playing, tried playing a little bit of Killer Instinct. Um, but I, again, I only lasted maybe about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, spent all that time on training mode. Just tooling around again. I just, I'm guessing I was probably so beat up from the uh, from the work week that I don't really have much, didn't really have much energy to do anything. And already I kind of goofed. So let me uh, let me get this fixed. Some bad preparation on my part. So anyway, but yeah, I again I was again couldn't really couldn't really do anything. Um, I think there was something else I was wanting to fix here too. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I also tried to uh, just tried reading the uh, Killer Instinct guide, but uh, that wasn't that wasn't really happening either. So it is a pretty crummy day overall. Um, one thing I did do that really, do, really, really does stand out 
is in fact, let me go ahead and kill the uh, actual music. And let me get on to this. I don't, I don't know if you can go to Guilty Gear Exar. Rev 2. Yeah, I, um, I got this recently. Um, and like I, and it looks like, I think going forward, if there's any, if there's a game that I checked out that I want to talk about on my cast, I'm just going to go ahead and fire up the game and show you. Oh, that's right, demo. Okay, but yeah, Guilty I'm gonna, Gear Exar. Rev two. Yeah, this is already this is already gonna jack up the file size on my cast, so I don't want to have to do any uh, any more animation. Config. <laughs> I like that. It's called config, not configuration or anything like that. Normally I have the music off, but. Let me sound check this real quick. All right, close enough. So, I don't know. I've had the um, uh, I've had Revelator One, the previous version of this for a while. Um, didn't really play it much. Mainly what I want to talk about here. Trade. And there's uh, one thing on here, uh, one thing on here I really super like that I think a lot of other fighting games need. He's the grappler. All right, I'll go with this. Um, like Killer Instinct, this game, you can set it to auto combos. I'll rando this one here because he don't matter. Jump, jump. Versus. Bow, bow. Get ready to run. Okay, this. You should be able to see right in the center of the screen. Controller input. In fact, let me uh remember you find this a little bit. Turn that off. Yeah. But what an awesome addition. I think uh, more games need this. If you can look in the upper left corner, this is uh, this is my analog stick. But um One thing I'm not, one problem I'm having, and um, as you're probably gonna see here, Negative part of my problem with motion inputs in fighting games is the uh, controller itself. Okay, it's supposed to go down, forward, and then punch. But if you if you saw there, it actually went backwards, and uh, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to move that. There we go. So. It's not going to be in the lower left corner. Because every so often, yeah, like that there. I never meant to go up and left. I just, I only went down to forward, but like I said, my, uh, my analog stick's got a habit of fucking up like that. Oh, and also, I need to, uh, gut unplug the uh, controller and then go wirelessly. Okay. But yeah, like I like I said, more ga more games need this. It's an awesome addition. You know what? Again, again, if you can tell in the lower left corner, it also shows you the buttons how you use. Oh, 
See, I didn't even mean to do that. I mean, what I'm trying to do is half circle back, back, and then forward, but like that there. I didn't even mean to do that. Again, this is one of the problems I have with uh, motion inputs. Major, major problem in a killer instinct too. Um, I'll jump when I don't want, when I never meant to. See, like that. I didn't even. The game just ba uh, the game seemed to think I did a full 360 motion. Okay, that was me. Okay, got it right. So I read my I read my stick correctly. But like I said, that sucker is so handy dandy. And more more fighting games need that. But uh, in case you wonder what I'm trying to do, let me go to command list. That's his uh, Potemkin Buster. That's his big slam. But um. And uh, it has auto count. I mean, again, like Killer Instinct, you can set this to auto combos. But uh, problem is, is uh, you can't. Uh, unlike Killer Instinct, I don't think you can cancel those combos into like special moves. Yeah, like. Don't know what I did. See, I'm, I was trying to cancel that combo in the Mega Fist, but it wasn't working. See? I was, again, I was trying to cancel into that, into a special, but it wasn't working. So... And once again, I was trying to cancel that into a special. In Killer Instinct, you could do this. With yeah, with uh, with their combo assist system, you could just sit, you know, in the middle of a combo at any point. You can cancel that combo into a into a special move. Whereas you can't seem to do it in this game. Yeah, see. Yeah. I don't know what I did. Oh. I'm guessing that's part of... I'm guessing it does that automatically, because I didn't go down forward twice. Okay. Yeah, so that's part of the uh, auto combo system. Cause, like I said, I didn't do that. I didn't do that motion down, like down to forward twice and then um, triangle. Wasn't trying to do that. 
wasn't trying to do that. Nope. Like I said, that's a big problem I have with these fighting games. I was moving backwards, not jumping back. Oh, I didn't do that. Down four triangle. In fact, I think it went down four, down four with square. And this is gonna be the uh, heavenly pile driver or whatever it's called. Yeah, the Temkin Buster. I didn't do that. So I'm guessing that's part of an auto combo. But again, what I'm trying to get at here is uh. This is one of the this is one of the things that uh, makes a uh, it makes killer it makes a uh, killer instincts auto car combo sy system a lot better than this one. It's because uh, in this game here, once you start a combo, you basically have to finish it. Whereas uh, again in killer instinct, you can cancel those combos into a special at any time. <laughs> Yeah, see, I can't. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to do that. Yeah, I, I'm not even. I'm trying to go down forward punch. I'm not. But the joystick is. The game is telling me I'm actually going back in a neutral. Yeah. Yeah. trying to jump okay but anyway okay so back to this so hopefully this video won't get flagged for copyright because I'm I'm assuming you know the music part of the game itself so shouldn't be an issue but anyway like I said um I'll probably play, I'll probably keep, uh, I'll keep piddling away on that game from time to time. But like I said, I'm, uh, so far, I don't like it as much as, uh, Killer Instinct. But another thing I do also have to say, I, I still have yet to stream it. If I ever, if I ever get around to doing it, but it looks like the game probably have, I'd have an easier time streaming Rev 2. Than it would uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Some time ago, I actually did just that. I I, I actually uh, tried playing uh, or I tried streaming Guilty Gear Strive, but my computer couldn't handle it. So I might have, I might actually try out uh, streaming uh, Rev Two then, sometime. Because like I said, it looks like um, looks like the game would have an easier time playing. Um, it looks more streamable. I'm, trying to find the right words so um anyway one other thing too actually this is probably this is probably originally this is just going to be the very first first and possibly the only thing i was going to do on this cast so i don't want to go too in depth into this but this is another jessica wildfire article um 
Uh, we can't live like this anymore and neither can our children, which I totally agree with that. We're shooting teenagers over barbecue sauce now. Um, I don't... I don't want to click the link. Like I said, I'm... I, I kind of want to... I kind of want to go through this. This is somebody's child trying to earn money to help make ends meet. It happened just the other day at a Wendy's drive through Yup. Yup. A few months ago, someone threatened a Starbucks barista with a gun over cream cheese. This don't surprise me. It kind of reminds me of a movie called Falling Down. Kind of like that scene, um, if anyone's ever seen it, where Michael Douglas, he, um, where the hell's my tea at? Damn it. Hang on, I'll be back. I gotta go grab my uh, Arizona green tea. this whole thing I think I saw like the first few paragraphs but yeah it was like um it's like the movie falling down um Michael Douglas robs a convenience store um over a over a can of pop I can't I can't remember the exact the exact dialogue but I think the guy behind the counter can of coke is one dollar no that's too expensive <laughs> it's 50 cents one dollar 50 cents you yeah. Oh, 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 okay, uh, 50 cents, you know, it, you know, one dollar is too expensive, you know, that kind of thing. I think I might have to actually give that movie a go. Great movie up, in, up until towards the end when they just, I think they just took everything that was great about it and fucked it up. They made it sound like a, kind of like a, kind of like Joker, the newer one with Jock and Fe with Jock and Phoenix, or how we pronounce it. The one tragic flaw in these two movies is they made it sound like uh, these guys always had mental problems. If they would have made it, if they would have written them in as just nice, normal, everyday people like they did in the uh, the the Killing Joke comic, I thought they would have been freaking awesome. You know, nice, normal, everyday people, but the bullshit of you know the bullshit of daily life gradually building up, you know, reaches a fever pitch, and then then they lose it. You know, people around them are like, I don't know, I don't know what made, what, made, what made him snap like this. He was always a nice person, but now he's just a psychopath, you know, that kind of thing. But no, they they gave them both like this long history of mental problems. Civil society is breaking down over sprinkles. Yep. Okay, but at least she admitted this. America has always been violent, but I mean, I've I mean, I've heard numerous stories about this ever since I was a little kid, you know, growing up in the 70s. I mean, they've been doing this kind of thing all the time. But yeah, it's, to be fair, I mean, to be sure it's getting worse, but this isn't anything new. Donuts and sprinkles and balloons. Superficial forms of consumers. And I'm re yes, this is something else that, that uh, made me want to talk about this in my cast. Um, a lot of people, in, even back when he, even back when he, when he, uh, Joe Rogan first started doing this podcast, I think back then everybody was saying he's just full of shit. In fact, uh, Wildfire here had a, he had an article, she, had, he, she had an article about Joe Rogan like some time back. But yeah, I guess uh. He did his show didn't get sued, but a whole bunch of uh, doctors and stuff basically called him out that he basically said he was full of shit. He was spreading uh, disinformation. Yeah. Yup. Misinformation does work. I mean, we're. Oh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? We're pretty much flailing wildly. We're, you know, we're looking for answers. We're looking for a cure. We're looking for a way out of the mess we're in. So, because we're so desperate, we're gonna listen to damn near anything. I 
I'm pretty sure if you uh, if you dug up Hill, if you dug up Adolf Hitler and resurrected him and made him made him the uh, ruler of this country, we'd all we'd all be glad of it, or we'd all be cool with it. I mean, you know, I know I wouldn't be, but you know, I'm, a lot of people would be. I don't really, I don't care, man. Anything but the system we have now. Let's get Hitler installed in an office. It'll probably work a lot better than what we got going right now. You know, that kind of thing. Nope. Yeah, I remember reading this part, too. Um, he's got to... He's got to give us uh, masks for free. But I, I... I read through most of this, and... Um, this is almost... This is almost like... Um, like a manager offering you a raise to keep you from quitting. Like if you walk in and say, "Hey, yeah, uh, hey, I quit." What if we gave you a raise? You know, to try to keep you. That's what this sounds like. Like they could have given you, they could have given you this, this raise all this time that you were working, but no, they they're just being cheap and wouldn't do it until you threaten to, you know, you threaten to leave the company. Then they offer it. Should have done it sooner, guys. Nope. Government's hands are tied. Uh, big tobacco, big oil, etc. They're paying their bills, so they're the ones paying the government's bills, so they're not going to. Ha 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 ha! I remember reading um I don't I don't remember which Ayn Rand book it was. But yeah, she was kinda of saying the same thing too. I mean if the government's gonna give you free money, take it. I mean, they're already yanking money out of our paychecks for taxes, so you know, if they're gonna give you like relief checks and whatnot, don't complain, take them. But yeah, but basically wait, I mean she is saying the same thing too. Basically our own tax money given back to us. Um, I guess back in her, I guess back in Anne Rand's time, a lot of people were so anti-government that when the government would actually offer them, you know, like bonus checks or stimulus checks and whatnot, they would actually refuse them because they hated the government that much. I'm like, uh, I think she was like, no, they're already yanking money out of your paychecks. They're offering you free money. Take it. Teachers and nurses work longer and harder than any billionaire alive and look how they're treated. Yep. Um, I would also add, um, whoever else works like quote-unquote necessary uh, functions like um, grocery store workers like myself that are putting product on the shelves for customers to buy. Not not trying to be um, arrogant or elitist or anything, but yeah, I'd, I consider myself in there as well. But any other... Uh, Anybody else that works a necessary position? Yep. I used to say, I have a manager that does that. He hasn't done it in a long time, but he used to say that uh, we weren't allowed bathroom breaks unless we were on our break or lunch. So, yeah, unforgivable. Yup. Yup. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this one. I don't know. Um, It's kind of hard. It, it's kind of hard to put it out into words, but... I mean... A forced revolution? I, I don't... I wouldn't really call it much of a revolution at all. It, it, but like I said, it's really hard to explain... Because this isn't um, this isn't like most other revolutions where, you know, you you know you're you're tired of dealing with the bullshit, you know. But it's like you're doing everything on your time. You know, you're getting the people together, you're getting the picket signs together. You know, you're getting you're you're making all these preparations and stuff. You know, before going out and revolutionizing, or revolutionating, I guess you could call it that. But it's like 
But, you know, I can see what's going to happen here. Every, I mean, everybody in this country is going to all at once reach the boiling point. Everybody is going to have, you know, they've all had it. And they're all going to just go fucking nuts. And not, you know, and not make, you know, and not plan stuff out, you know. Again, making picket signs, you know, organizing slogans, what to say, etc. You know, that kind of stuff. They're just, they're just going to do kind of a, a psychological, philosophical spray and pray. If that makes any sense at all. So. Okay, so. Okay, so. Yeah, I'll just go and call. I'll just go ahead and call it good here. <laughs> it seems it seems I've run a little over long on this. Thirty minutes. I was anticipating this being like a 10, maybe 15 minute cast, because like I said, despite all the things I've said, um, it, I really hadn't done much. I hadn't really done much, just, you know, slobbing and napping. So, I, I, I mean, most of the stuff, uh, most of the stuff I threw in here was just for the sole purpose of trying to fill out the cast, because otherwise it would have been, hi guys, welcome to my cast, I didn't do much, I just... Sat around, watched TV, and took some naps. But otherwise, that's it. That's all I got. Bye. See ya. Click, you know. Like a, a 30 second cast video, so. But yeah. Um, half an hour. So, totally unexpected. Uh, but. But otherwise, like I said, yeah, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Kind of, kind of overachieved this time around. So. But otherwise, hey, thanks for, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And uh, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.